Please share the information provided in this video. Always remember that a crucial part of removing a person's confusion is understanding his or her unique source of it. What we're going to cover in this video is the concept of the supernatural or metaphysical or that which is outside of our physical or natural world. Things that obviously you can't see because they don't have physical reality. And strangely enough, it's almost analogous in our day and time to say supernatural means not real mythology type stuff. And people tend to think that I believe in what I can see and if I can't see it, why should I believe in it? Or they might go a step further and say, well, I believe in what can be observed and understood and explained through science. And if it can't be explained through science, then how could it possibly be real? Or how could we possibly know anything about it? The reality is that quite the opposite is true in many cases. The physical world often is an illusion in our lives. And we often see things that turn out to be wrong. We are often incorrect and fundamentally philosophically we can't really say for sure that everything we see is not an illusion we tend to think that it's not but this is on the basis of intuition or logic but we cannot use physical observation to defend the idea that physical observation can always be trusted furthermore things like intentionality or the idea that you have purposes, goals, are purely non-physical things. A physical object, if that's all that you are, if that's all that your brain is, then when you say, darling, I love you, you're saying, ultimately, darling, I'm having a chemical reaction in my brain right now, and this chemical is reacting with that chemical. Physical objects simply are what they are. They have the properties they have, and if it has this movement and these particular chemical properties then it's going to bump into this other chemical and they're going to react based on what properties they have and whether or not they bumped and that's just the way things are there's no ought to be or should be so as soon as we have intentionality or goals in our lives or ideas about what we want we are in essence talking about something non-physical supernatural without the supernatural. There will be no such thing as free will, choice, morality, no no way for you to choose to be honest or dishonest. Science itself would self-destruct as an as an enterprise because who's to say that what we do in science is really based on our choice to be honest and do it honestly. You know, it's just chemicals in our brains just bouncing around. Uh, and uh, there can be no ultimate purpose for life that would determine what is truly good and evil because, the, again, that would have to be a supernatural thing. It cannot be just based on the way things are because morality is about the way they ought to be. And if the physical world exists, then it can't really give us a basis for any of these things because it exists. It just exists. It is just there. There's no nothing beyond in that. So... In essence, when you speak to someone about, hey, I like these french fries, or hey, this is a good song, you are translating something metaphysical or supernatural into physical reality of the sound vibrations of the words. And then they're picking that up physically, but translating it back into a metaphysical or supernatural something about concepts, about the way things ought to be. And ultimately, the way things ought to be, or what we like, or what we want, or what is better or worse, is not physical. Because physical just is. It's supernatural. It always is. And everything we do every day of our lives is about the pursuit of metaphysical or supernatural objectives. And we simply use the physical to get those things, or to communicate those things. And it is a physical world that ultimately only logic can tell us whether or not, you know, it even exists. Or perhaps it is some illusion. Perhaps we're all in the matrix. And there's no amount of, you know, people say, well, if you have a, a wide, complicated array of molecules bouncing together one against another, then that can become free will and, and you know, consciousness or, you know, or purpose or intentionality or even good and evil. Uh... 
So, you know, the idea is that if, since a brain is complicated and a complicated physical system, then all of a sudden consciousness erupts. And that's rather silly, you know. If you have one atom of this and one atom of that, you know, and they're moving in a direction and, you know, and they bump into one another, they're going to react based on whatever properties they have. And if you have a bunch of that going on in more than one place, there's no, there's no way that intentionality entered that system. That system just is what it is and it, it's complicated, but it's doing what it does based on what properties it has, what it is. And it will do what it will do based on what it is. Again, darling I love you is just darling I'm having a chemical reaction. I hope you found the information in this video informative duh, and enjoyable. Thank you for your time.